Proxmox 9 has just been released. And no, I'm not talking about the beta version that was released a few, few weeks ago. I'm talking about full, stable release of Proxmox 9 virtual environment. Which means you can go ahead and install or, or upgrade your Proxmox to this version, because all the critical patches and fixes have now been applied. And Proxmox 9 is a major version, because it's built on a new version of Debian. It's based on Debian 13, which has a code name Trixie. And what I noticed, the first major difference between this version and the previous 9.0 beta version is that the helper scripts started working again. I mean, they claim that Proxmox is in beta version during the installation process, but uh, you can ignore that, and otherwise then they seem to be working as expected. Well, at least uh, the ones that I've tried. And now if we compare this Proxmox to previous major version, Proxmox 8, this Proxmox comes with new default Ceph version, it comes with new Linux kernel, that many people have been waiting, and many more uh, smaller updates, but uh, the biggest upgrade is probably a support for snapshots on thick provisioned LVMs. Which means if you have like storage area network and you connect to it over a SCSI or fiber channel interface, you have now built-in support for those snapshots, a feature that was missing in previous versions of Proxmox. Other improvements include ZFS in version 2.3, which I guess is also a good news for many users. And now you can download the ISO directly from Proxmox website, and the installer seems to be like 100 meg larger than it was for beta version, which means now it's around 1.6 GB in size. The installation process is exactly the same as it was for previous versions, so you can follow my step-by-step -step guide for Proxmox 8, because the process stays exactly the same, and the <laughs> Proxmox installation process is very simple anyways, so I'm happy that they left it this way. If you check the old version of Proxmox, like 841, you will see that Proxmox Proxmox was based on Debian 12, codename Bookworm, and if we run, for example, cat etsy OS release on Proxmox 9, you can see now it's a codename Trixie, and it's based on Debian 13. And if you check repositories, you will see that the repositories are now for Debian 13 as well, codename Trixie. I checked the LXC templates available, and it seems like the one for Debian 13 still isn't available yet, only Debian 12 LXC template seems to be there, but it's just a matter of time, I guess. And Proxmox offers official documentation and path and support for upgrade from Proxmox 8 to Proxmox 9, and as you could with previous Proxmox versions, you can manually install Proxmox 9 on top of Debian 13, if that's your preference. And that's all I wanted to say really, I've been playing with it for a very short time uh, so far, but can't see any major problems with it. If you find any problems or non-working containers or virtual machines, then please let us know, all know in the comments. And if you want to learn more about Proxmox or Linux or Cloud, etc., then please remember to join our Automation Avenue platform, where you can find loads and loads of very useful materials. So thank you for watching.